In this video, we're going to be looking at these new dry bags from Spiro. Now, these are a very useful product year round, but even more so coming into the winter months. So let's jump into the video and have a look at all the little bits you need to know about these dry bags. Okay, so first things first, what is a dry bag and why do you need one? Well, to be honest, they're pretty self-explanatory. They keep things dry. So they're really good at keeping all your essentials dry, all the things that you take with you that you don't want to get wet, which to be honest is most things. And that's why there's a whole range of different sizes. But like I say, there are four different sizes in the range and they're made from a really nice waterproof polyester material. That's quite a thin material, but I don't think in this case that's too much of a bad thing because Obviously you want the bags to be as lightweight as possible. You purely need them to keep things waterproof for you. And they do that. So in this one, this is obviously classed as a small one. It's ideal for keeping things like your phone. I can fit my phone, my wallet, and my keys into this little bag, which seems a bit of a strange concoction. And you might be wondering why you'd even consider putting them things into a bag. But this time of year overnight, Obviously things get very wet, very moist, very dewy. And if you've got your phone and your keys on the side on a bucket or something like that next to your bed chair, you can wake up in the mornings and find that they are very, very wet. And you don't really want to wake up to a broken phone or a key where the battery's died and you can't get back into your car or van. So something like this for overnight would be ideal just to stash all your electrics in and you know that in the morning they're all going to be working as they should do. Now moving through the range, we've then got the medium uh, dry bag. So I was just watching that because this has been awful to try and stack up. But we've got the medium one and in this, I've got a set of waterproof trousers. So this is gonna be ideal for, you know, if you had a couple of these and you have your lightweight waterproof trousers in one, lightweight waterproof coat in, in the other, then uh, this is the, the prime size for that sort of thing. Now, obviously you can put what you want in there, but yeah, I've managed to fit a child size uh, set of waterproof trousers in the medium one. There is a bit more space. You can fit normal size trousers in there as well. But yeah, the medium one would be great for that. Uh, like, but like I say, you can purely, you can put whatever you want to in these bags. These are just examples to show a rough, rough kind of size. Now, moving on to the large bag, I've put a pair of trainers in here. So spare pair of shoes. We always end up with wet feet on the bank. So to have a spare pair of shoes that you know is gonna be dry, then uh, they're obviously fitting there nicely. But to be honest, this size would probably be better as a spare clothes bag. You could easily fit a full new outfit in there. And uh, these actually work in a couple of ways as well, because obviously they stop water going in, but in theory, they stop water going out of them as well. So if you change over clothes, sorry, I've got a spider attacking me. If you change your clothes and you put your wet clothes in here, then you haven't got to worry about uh, the wet kind of coming through from your, from your dirty wet clothes. You're not going to get all your car wet or anything like that because it's actually keeping the wetness in as well as keeping it out. So the large one would work really nicely for a single set of clothes. Or if you're doing a longer session and you've got a couple of sets of clothes, then uh, the extra large would really fill that need. And the nice thing about these as well, I mean, I've got clothes in this one, but as you can see, it's full of air because I just, it's so big. I just haven't got enough stuff with me to actually fill it. But because of the design of them, you can get all that air out and you can just roll it right down and then really compact it. So your extra large one turns a lot smaller because it just rolls down to where, you, where you've actually got items in it. And they literally just roll down and buckle together. So once you've rolled it down, buckled it together, that is then waterproof. Now, you could probably throw it in a lake, you could probably submerge it. The concept of them is great, they do work. I've had, I've been using these on a couple of rainy sessions and it is nice just, just to have that dry set of clothes with you. Yeah, it's great keeping it in the van or the car, but then you've got to think, oh, you've got to bring the rods in, go back, get changed. Something like this, you can bring it around with you and you don't have to worry about them getting wet before you've even had a chance to put, in theory, your dry clothes on. Now, running onto the prices, they're really good value as well. So. The small one comes in at $5.95, the medium comes in at $6.95, you've then got the large one which is $9.95 and then the extra large comes in at $11.95. So really good value for money and like I say they're, 
they're a bit of an essential when it comes to the winter months. They're still great in summer as well, but it is this time of year they've really come into their own. Comfort on the bank is imperative this time of year. So if you can do little things like this to put, put that comfort in your favor, it's gonna make sure that you endure that session that bit longer and you feel a bit better for actually being out there. So thanks for watching. If you want more information about all of this, head over to the Spiro website. That's where you've got exact dimensions. And if you like this video, obviously like it, subscribe to Carpology if you're not already. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.